What is the domain of the lawn of lawn x? Lots of people call this the natural logarithm. I call it lawn. Well, the first thing I want you to know is that y equals lawn x is only ever defined when x is a positive number. If you try to do the lawn of a negative number, I'm going to do negative 5 here, you get an error. In fact, if you get if you try the lawn of 0, you also get an error. But the lawn of any positive number, no matter how small, does exist. The graph itself looks like this. There's a vertical asymptote at uh, x equals 0. And you can take the lawn of any positive number, and you'll end up getting either a negative number, if the number you put in is less than 1, or a positive number, if the number you put in is greater than 1. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, what it means is that this x certainly can't be a negative number because you can't take the lawn of a negative and it can't be zero. So that x certainly has to be positive, but there's more. When you do this lawn or natural logarithm, you're only ever allowed to take it when the value of this lawn x or what's inside or what you're taking the lawn of itself is greater than zero. Because lawning anything, you can only lawn the things that are positive or greater than zero. So now what we actually want is for the lawn of a number to be bigger than zero. Taking a look at this same graph, you're only going to get numbers that are bigger than zero starting at one, but not including one, and higher. Now, what I'm actually looking at here are the output values, like the y values, because when you plug an x in here, you're going to take the lawn of it, and it's going to transform it into a new number. If you plug in 1, and you take the lawn of 1, you get 0, but then if you take the lawn of that, you get an error, because you can't take, you can't take the lawn of 0. Lawn, lawn 0, I mean lawn, lawn 1 gives you the error for that reason. You need the output of ln x, or the y value, to be bigger than zero. And for that, you require this x to be greater than one. Now, if you don't like the graph, you can always do this another way. Ln x greater than zero can be solved by undoing ln on this side of the inequality. How do you undo ln? Well, it's the inverse of e to the power of something. So e to the power of this side of the equation needs to be greater than e to the power of this side of the equation. e and ln cancel each other out, so that x is what's left here, and e to the 0, like anything to the 0, is 1. So the domain of this is x greater than 1. Prove to you with both graphs, a calculator, and algebra. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.